to California Live. We're getting into the holiday spirit with the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus, and that's why we are here with Tim, the artistic director. Great to see you. Hey, thank you so much. All right, so give us a little background on the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus. In 1978, it was a big year. In 1969, the, the movement really began. And by 1978, things were just popping, especially in San Francisco. A man named John Reed Sims uh, founded the gay band, and then he founded the Gay Men's Chorus. And the first rehearsal was in October. Four weeks later was the day that Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk were assassinated. And so the chorus went to the candlelight vigil and had its first performance in only four weeks. And ever since then, we have been sort of holding the baton um, in his honor. Yeah. All right. So I know you've been in seasons for 42 years, but uh, this year for the holidays is the 30th anniversary for a, a special performance, right? So in 1990, the chorus in the middle of the AIDS crisis decided they needed to do something special because so many people were ill and didn't have families that would support them, couldn't go home for the holidays. So they rented the Castro Theater and just opened the doors for a concert and it was packed. And it began a tradition that now we're at the 30th anniversary and now it's no longer one performance, but it's 5 p.m., 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Christmas Eve. All right, and so what can we what can we expect from the uh, Gay Men's Chorus? Uh, crazy, lots <laughs> of crazy. Um, we have, have we will have just given five different concerts, and they're a little more serious. But when people come for a, basically a one hour, one hour and ten minute concert on Christmas Eve, they want to have fun. So um, yeah, there'll be a lot of surprises and some really beautiful music. All right, well Tim, thank you very much. S F G M C dot org for more Perfect. information, right? Yes. All right, happy holidays to you. Thank you.